Hey guys, it's Chris, and we made it to our stateroom here on Allure of the Seas. So this week we are in cabin 11, 636. So all we have to remember is deck 11 because our um, area code is 636. So um, I'll go ahead and give you a tour of the room. And to our surprise, our luggage was already at the room when we arrived. Um, maybe like a door down, but it was already here. Again, we got to the port pretty early. And... Um, yeah, so we ch checked our bags in early, and uh, they got them up. They got them right up, right away. So I'll give you a tour of the room. So this is a standard bathroom. Nothing fancy. Does have the step up shower. Into a tub, but has a tub shower combination. And I don't know if those are the real salt and breeze amenities. Sometimes they just refill them with uh, the regular stuff. We've had that happen on uh, a couple of ships. And has some cubbies there for you. Excuse me. Toilet sink. Yeah, nothing fancy at all. And then directly across from that, we have, oh, I did see something, hold on. It has these three hooks on the inside of the bathroom door. So um, if you need to use those for hanging items, you can. And directly across is the walk-in closet. There's hangers and the upper shelving. You need that. And this is the room. There's a little nightstand on the side with the light. Then on the opposite side, there's another little nightstand. It's a cruise ship phone. And then. It says, any housekeeping request, please scan our QR code. So if you have any questions or issues with housekeeping, you can just scan that QR code and uh, they'll apparently assist you there. So yeah, that's uh, a sofa, sofa sleeper. There's a chair, a little table, and those are our Crown and Anchor loyalty gifts. When we purchase water, so they have the waters already for us here. It has this mirror here, and then it has a little table there. I don't know what that's for, but yep. Yeah. Let's see, we have a little mini fridge, a cooler, <laughs> and some very small drawers here. Yeah, these drawers are not very, Big. It is very small, very, very small. So it's three, six, and then there's three on this side here. So it's nine of those little drawers. I don't know if anything is in that one. Yep, it's occupied. So you have two, four, six drawers to use pretty much. And then you have this. So that's like six cubbies that you can use. And then this seventh one occupied is occupied by the safe. And let's see. Get this out of the way. Uh, yep, okay, so there's some other shelving space there if you'd like to put little things up. Those are that's a place for them. And that's up duplicated on the opposite side of the mirror here. Well, where's the light? Is that the light? Okay, and that's the light for that. Yep, and this little lavaza thingy is gonna go on that shelf in that closet because it is in my way and we do not use it. 
But it has a little chair here so you can sit and do makeup. It also has um, regular outlets that we use, a European outlet, and then the data, data cable telephone for the tape. For the t telephone, you can transfer it from one side of the room to the other. And it has this. I have no clue what that is. Yep, it's a clock. Anyway, that's not my concern. Yep, and regular little small cruise ship television here. This one's pretty small. Look like it's about a 32 inch, but it's rather small um, for it to be a junior suite. This cabin is um, a lot smaller than some of the older models, ships, junior suites. So um, I think once they started with the Oasis class, they started minimizing the size and that, well, you know, downsizing. But nonetheless, it's functional and it will do what we need for it to do. Again, we're not moving in forever. We're only here for seven nights on this one. So that's what we're doing here. And I think that's it. I don't know if there's anything else I need to tell you. Um, I'll go out and get a look on the balcony and see what that looks like. That's a nice size balcony. Oh, that's a lot of space. Oh, still has two tables, two chairs. I mean, table, two chairs, lounge chairs. Port of Galveston. Yeah. We are on deck 11. So, see how that handle. If it goes down, you can turn it on the opposite side. We got locked out on the other ship because it didn't have a handle on the other side. But So guys, I think that's all I need to share with you right now. Um, yeah, I think that's all we need to share. Um, I'll give you some, um, show you some other interesting things around the ship and just if you've never been on board the um, uh, allure of the seas it is a beautiful ship and you will most definitely like it um, it does not have um, like oasis I know from the Central Park area you can see the, the two large slides but on oasis I mean on this ship they're not there, so um, I'll have to go back up and check. Again, it's been a while since we've been on this ship. We've uh, sailed six, this is our sixth time sailing on the Allure, and I just don't remember everything, uh, but yeah. And then we had, we had a balcony for two of those cruises, and then we had the Crown Loft Suite for three of those cruises. So this is our first time in the Junior Suite on this uh, particular ship, so. Um, it's small, smaller than what I think it should be. But anyway, again, there's no cooking. There's no cleaning. There's no bed making. None of that. So I'm good. So, in the meantime, in, in between time, I'll stop rambling. And I'll see you around the ship.